All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. We are going to be taking the John Deere 1025R over to the John Deere dealer uh, here in our local area. Um, we just need to get simple service done on it. Kind of been busy, so I don't really have time to do it. Normally, I would do it myself, but hey, we're going to go ahead and load the trailer up, put the uh, tractor on there, and take it over there today. So I just wanted to get you guys kind of a video today on, on how we load it up, um, how we strap it down. And maybe you'll learn something on straps and things of that nature. So first thing I want to talk about is we have a B&W trailer hitch. I'm not sponsored by them, but I think these hitches are absolutely really simple and very easy to use. They're very customizable. You can adjust them. We have two different balls. We have a 2 and 5 16 ball. And then we have a two inch ball. So our uh, trailer that we currently use is a 24 foot long with a four foot dovetail trailer. And it uses a two and five sixteenths ball. So we're gonna go ahead and, and hook this up to the two and five sixteenths ball. And then we'll go down and pick up the trailer. I'll show you guys how we do that. And then we will load the trailer up or tractor up and hopefully you guys learn something on either strapping down or kind of where you position uh, things on a trailer. So we keep our trailer down by the bridge and it's just a good place where the turnaround is. It keeps it out of the way. Um, and then we just have to go down the, the driveway there to pick it up every time we use it. We keep a, a locking system on it just in case. Nobody ever usually messes with anything around here. Um, just because we're off the roadway and we don't usually have that issues. We, we're in a really good area. And um, it's one perk to living out in the country. You usually uh, don't have any issues with that. And if they do, people know not to mess with you. But yeah, we're going to load the trailer up. We had a lot of rain here the last uh, couple days. It was pouring. The creek was up. And man, oh man, let me tell you, it was, it was almost up out of its banks. It's down now, but I want to show you some things. There's where we keep the trailer, but I want to show you a couple things over here real quick. So let me cut out and show you what we've been doing to keep some of this erosion from happening. All right, so here's our creek. It does get up pretty deep. Right here is probably about a three, four foot deep. But when it rains a lot, we get quite a bit of water hitting this bank and we were having an issue with it actually eating it out as you can see and we didn't want it to keep pushing back towards the driveway so we just started dumping some old concrete in here um, so we're going to fill this in with this old concrete and it has definitely helped that out and we don't have any issues with erosion there anymore and now it blocks as a barrier we got this out of an old uh, an old barn not an old barn an old uh an old building so it's worked out it kind of packs in there real nice and keeps everything from washing away all right guys so we got this locking mechanism here it's just a uh little thing that goes on with the key it's made by Reese I'll show you what it looks like and it's just a little deterrent but goes right on there snaps in uh oh forgot to unlock the gores we throw this in the back seat here there we go or in the back of the bed keeps it we also have a little grate here thing that we can put things but we don't use that too much Let's load her up I'm sure most of you guys know this, but always cross your chains when you're uh, hooking your safety chains up. We got these hammer hooks down here at the bottom. Um, I think we did a video on We did do a video on it a while ago. I can't remember if it was a shorts or not, but we did do a video on those hammer hooks because the uh, the hooks here for the Ford 2017 Fords or the super duties they just 
aren't um, big enough for some of these bigger chain hooks to go in. So we put hammer hooks on here and they have made it so much uh, simpler to hook these up. Quick, simple, be done with it. So we're almost ready to head up the driveway. Throw this up. We'll head up the driveway and load the tractor. These hammer hooks, if you hadn't seen them, that's what they are. Real simple to use. All right guys, so I went ahead and take, took the bucket off. Um, all the weights for the ballast weight, they don't need all that stuff over at the dealer. Um, so we're just gonna take just like this. I use ratchet straps, these uh, big thick ones. I don't remember what the load is for them, but they're just real easy for me. Some people, they use chains, things like that. Those work too. But let me show you kind of how we do it. The key is guys, you always have to pull forward and back right at the same time so you're going to want one pulling this way that way and then in both directions to make sure it's not going to go anywhere and it's going to be safe and you want to make sure it's on something solid tractors don't really have uh, shocks so they're not going to go up and down so you don't have to so much put it to the to the wheel like you would a utv or a, a four-wheeler or anything like that or anything that would have shocks because if you guys know um, shocks will make the straps uh, loosen up so but way, the way I do it here is I just do it straight here to this this is a solid piece of the frame at least for the front the way these work is they slip down through here you can slip them down through pull them up and hook them that way if your strap does come off it's not gonna go anywhere now we're just gonna get this one snug We'll do all four corners. I'll show you the back where I hook up to on the back and then we'll tighten them all down unison kind of back and forth that way it's all even. All right, so here on the back, let me get you in here and show you. I always get it as low as I can. I'm gonna hook it right, well, here, shoot, right there like that. And then we'll pull it right back low like that so once again we will drop it down through bring it back up and hook it just like that pull it tight and then we're gonna you want to make sure you get a whole wrap a whole wrap of strap around this don't let it any metal be showing or any aluminum whatever this is um, because you want to make sure you get a good solid connection there
All right, so now we got a little close. I'll show you guys how we uh, roll up our straps for, and everything's tight. Everything's tight all the way around the tractor, evenly pulled. We just wrap it up like this, and then you take it around, loop it, pull it through, and then basically all you do is just turn it, right? You turn it, and it makes it tight. It gives you the ability to, that your excess isn't just flopping around the wind, no bungee cords, no nothing like that, no straps. Ties it up there, it's solid. So we got everything taken care of today. Got the John Deere 1025 up there where we want it. This gives us the ability to where there's not too much tongue weight on the front. Um, and it's kind of right there in the, the sweet spot of the trailer. I've done this enough to where I know about how much tongue weight's gonna be on our truck with the John Deere 25R. The John Deere 1025R today is not uh, loaded down with ballast weight or the bucket, anything of that nature. So it, it would shift just a little bit depending on, on that, as well as if you had a bush hog or a brush hog on the back. So just keep in mind that does play some factor into where you position it. But this is approximately where it's gonna be at normally on our trailer. Um, once again, you gotta make sure all four corners are pulled this, in opposite directions equally to where the, the tractor or the, the whatever you have on there is not gonna be uh, moving around. You can use chains. Um, I prefer straps just because they're easier and you know, you're not lugging around chains getting nasty stuff all over your hands at times. So, but hey, thank you guys for coming back to the channel. We're going to go ahead and get this on on over to the John Deere dealer. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.